About a year ago, Chris and I decided to pick up ice skating as a hobby. So we bought our own skates, which made the experience much better. Our local ice rink finally has opened more days throughout the week, so this session was so much fun. There was less people than the usual. Sometimes there was barely anybody on the ice, so it was easy not to worry about people cutting in front of you or running into you. Hopefully we can go more now. Although sometimes I wish we own our own ice rink. How fun would that be? The sun has finally decided to grace us this weekend. I love mornings like this. Cloudy days just remind me of rain, and rain as of late causes me so much anxiety just because of previous experiences with water damage. This was early morning, and one of the reasons why I fell in love with this house was the amount of light that it gets throughout the day. Sometimes I wake up before Chris, so I enjoy those early mornings to myself. I make my coffee and read one of my interior books, just dreaming of what I can do next in our home that will bring me joy. Not much has changed here. The only thing that has been added to these shelves is this oil painting of Paris. I got it a few weeks back while thrifting. Another piece of art is this piece that I made last year. To make it, I just went to Home Goods and got one of those big arts they sell there. This one had a photo of a house by the beach, not the reason why I bought it. I bought it more for the size and the wood framing. I spackled the canvas to give it texture and then I just started layering paint and using water to dilute the dark color to create dimension. I really like it and I thought it would fit our dining room wall, but after having it here for a few weeks now, I'm just 100% sure that this is not the art piece that I like to put on this wall. I'm still thinking on wainscoting this wall. I'll probably try to sell this art piece or maybe just save it for a future home. I got these non-slip trays from a company called Kinto. Love the color of the wood and the non-slip feature really works. You can see here how the mug won't even move an inch. I love Japanese ceramics and I've been slowly getting these ones made by Kaneko Koyo. These are the Rinka collection. I'm in love with the color, the shape, and I'm slowly building this collection in my home as these are a higher price point, but very well made. Something I didn't show you last time was our entryway. When we moved in, I wanted a bench here, but I couldn't find something or if I did, it was out of my budget. At the same time, I was working on my shelves for my living room and had an extra panel of wood. So we cut the end pieces on the end to create the legs and our contractor used the long screws to put it together. I then got these long wood dowel rods and cut them to the length I wanted them and used wood glue. It's not perfect at all, but it filled the space nicely for the time being. Now I'm on the hunt for a tall, rounded table here. So I'm thinking a coat rack in the corner, round, tall table with a vase for some flower arrangements. So eventually that will be the update I'm thinking for the entryway. My husband got me this cordless lamp that is so out of the blue for me. See what I did there? But it really gives that nice pop of color here. Love that it's a touch lamp. The other lamp I got for my office is this rice paper table lamp. The 
This is my second Ralph Lauren book. It's all about his houses and interiors. It's probably the heaviest book that I own to date, but I've been enjoying browsing through it as of late. I love how each house has its own unique style, so anyone can really enjoy this book. Whether you like the city vibes, country, at the beach. He says how just like we like to dress differently each day, he gets to live different in each of these homes. I just love that. These homes are also what inspire his different collections in Ralph Lauren. Today I'm going to brunch with my friends and this is what I'm wearing. Love this suede bag from Flatter. There's a nice undone chic vibe from it. Like it's like I'm folding a paper bag under my arm, but it's suede, so that makes it fancy. So it's a fancy paper bag. I'm wearing my favorite blazer from Anina Bing, a simple white tank top, and my maxi skirt from the Jerf Avenue. This skirt is so good. Sometimes I can wear it as a dress. It's made out of 100% cotton, so it's very breathable for those warmer days. I always have fun playing with eyeshadow, so here is the eyeshadow look for today, feeling those spring vibes. Got my kitten heels on, some sunnies, and I'm off to brunch. I'm back home, Chris went on a motorcycle ride, it's one of his favorite things to do and definitely one that I did not approve of at first. But he has had the motorcycle for years now and wears all the protective gear and I know that he's careful. Sometimes I just like to hang here in my office, the space on this corner is soothing, I can be listening to music, a podcast or peruse one of my books. I'm really happy to have created this space for myself. The sun has decided to grace us again this afternoon, so I came out here to read my new book. As the sun positioning changes towards spring and summer, I can't wait to show you how the sun reflects in our living room right before sunset. It's possibly my favorite lighting in the house, however, it only lasts for about an hour or so, so I take it all in at the moment that sun is just shining against the wall and creating this glow and warmth. Am I just romanticizing lighting too much? It just, I don't know, it gives me so much joy when the light glows. So we're getting ready for the Oscars, and tonight we're watching the last on our list for all Best Picture nominees. Are you watching the Oscars too? Let me know in the comments. That's all for today. 